Uh, in this video, we're going to be using Onshape to make a little uh, Wash's box, Octagon Wash's box, like we see here. Uh, so to do this, once you're in Onshape, we're going to start our part studio. If you're already in a part, uh, you can just click on the plus sign down here on the bottom and click Create Part Studio. Uh, that gets us started on our part. Uh, it gives us our work axis to work on. And for this uh, shape, we're going to start on a sketch and we're going to place the sketch actually on what's called the top plane here so i'm going to use click on that top plane and then i'm going to change my view by clicking on the top of this cube uh, then we want an octagon shape so we have our different tools our lines we could make lines and connect them to make an octagon we have a rectangle circle uh arc, and we have polygon so we're going to use this polygon here so I'm just going to start by clicking on the origin, uh, then I scroll out, and I can make it as small as big. We're going to dimension it to make it the correct right size, so I'm just going to click. And then once I click, you can see on this right-hand side over here, it gives me numbers. If I move my mouse out, I move my mouse in, that number changes. Uh, or I could just type in to change it as well. I just moved out till I got to an 8 because I want an octagon, and now I'm going to click. And that gives me that octagon I was looking for. Uh, so it tells me it's eight side and it does have a circle inscribed. You don't have to worry about that. That's just used to help create your shape. Uh, then I said we wanted to mention it to make it the right size. So it's going to get a lot bigger when we do this. So I'm going to hit dimension. I'm just going to click one of the sides and I want the outside of one side to be six. So I'm just going to click and then I'm going to type in a six. And I hit enter, it really zooms out. Uh, if you need to, you can use uh, this toolbar over here. You can fit to window, zoom to fit, and it zooms out so you can see it better. Uh, next thing we're going to do is in order to create the shape, we want an inner and an outer. So I need an inside uh, octagon. I could go through that same process and click on the middle and make it go out. But instead, I'm just going to use this offset tool since I already have an octagon. So I'm just going to click on here where it says offset at the top center of your screen. And then we're just going to click on each one of these lines. So that's one, two, and I'm going to go all the way around and click on all eight of those lines. Uh, so you do have to click each one individually. If you click somewhere incorrectly, it's going to tell you you can't do it. So make sure you click in the right spot. Once I do that, it's offset. You can't see it very well because it's very, very close. It's at 0.073. So I'm going to want to change that value and I'm going to want to move it inside. So to move it inside, all I'm going to do is move my arrow in. Now I can see a lot better at this point. And then I'm going to click and I'm going to set that dimension value, that value there as 1.5. So it's going to be 1.5 inches in. And then I hit enter and it creates that shape I'm looking for. Uh, once we're done with that, I'm just going to hit the green check because I'm done with this sketch. And then we need to extrude. So I'm going to change my view just so it's easy for us to see. And we're going to hit the extrude button. That's up here on the top left. And then we need to click inside the shape to tell it what to extrude. And I'm going to change my depth this time to 3.5. Uh, so it's going to come out 3.5. When I hit enter, it shows you that height. It doesn't set it until I hit the green check, though. So now I have my base, kind of my boards that would make the outside of my washer box. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add a base. Uh, before I do that, I have these axes here in the middle. Uh, if you want to get rid of those, all you have to do is what it says top, front, and right. It's got an eye. If you click on that eye, those views just disappear. They're still there. If you need to bring them back, you can bring them back, but that way they're not in your way. Uh, so next I'm going to start a sketch on the bottom. So we're going to add the bottom or the baseboard to this uh, box. So I'm just going to hit sketch and click on that bottom face. And then to make my shape, I could go through the octagon and make that octagon again. Or the much easier way is just to project. So it says this use project convert. It's much easier just to click that because then all I have to do is wait until it highlights the bottom and then I can click. And now I'm already done with this sketch. So I can hit my green check and then I have to click extrude. And I'm going to click on that inside bottom. 
so I want that bottom, both the inner and the outer, so I got to click both spots, and I want that to come down by 0.25, so a quarter of an inch. And once I've done that, I can hit the check, and it makes that solid base I'm looking for. So now I'm going to go back to the top, and if you've played washes before, you know there's a can that goes in the middle. Uh, so the last thing we're going to do is add that can that goes in the middle. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, we're just going to click Sketch. We're going to click on the bottom there. I'm going to again click my view cube so it's easier to see. And a can is going to be a circle shape, so I'm going to get a circle. Again, I'm going to start in the middle, and this time I'm going to bring that cane out three and a half inches. So I'm going to uh, click. I could try to get it exactly, or I could dimension it right away. Uh, but I'm just going to get a rough idea of what it is, and then it tells me it's 3.65. And I'm going to hit escape, and then we want to dimension it. So you hit the dimension up here on the top right hand side, and we can click inside that circle, and it's going to dimension. We type in 3.5 and it gives us that three and a half inch center there. Uh, we need an outside so we can have a center of the can. So again, we're going to use that offset tool we used earlier. So we're going to hit offset. We're going to click on our circle and we're going to come out. And it's already at a quarter of an inch and that's what we want. So I'm just going to click and leave it at that 0.25 by hitting enter. Uh, once I'm there, I've finished my sketch, so I can hit my check. And if you want to change your view just so you can see it a little better when it extrudes, that's what I'm going to do at the corner of the cube. And then we're going to hit extrude, and we're going to click inside those two rings we just created. Uh, we want to bring it up a total of three inches, so it's just a, below the max height of my cube. I can hit enter, and you can see what that's going to look like. Uh, then we hit the green check to finish it off. Uh, so that's creating that uh, Walsh's box for us. Uh, there's different things we could do to change and adjust it, but that's a good outline of what we want there. Hopefully that helped you in your creation. Uh, good luck. If you have any problems, let me know, and we'll try to get you squared away.